Moments here inside of a busy convenience store when a pickup truck rammed right into it, injuring a customer that was inside here. It was all caught on camera, and Local 10 News reporter Roy Ramos is live in Fort Lauderdale to show us much more. Roy. Calvin, and still a lot of damage out here. Yellow caution tape surrounds the area where that driver went right through that window. You can see the shutters covering that portion right there, but on the other side of that window was a customer. Fortunately, that man is expected to be okay. As for the driver, he is now behind bars. Surveillance cameras rolling as this black Dodge Ram pulls into the parking lot of the Ami convenience store near Northeast 4th Avenue and 13th Street in Fort Lauderdale. Just a big boom like uh, something, something, something just uh, came, came with a good force, you know. The truck only coming to a stop after crashing through the front window. On the other side, a customer is seen getting coffee when items start flying off the shelves and he takes off running. There's a customer standing uh, close by. And I think we had like the, the bulk peanuts uh, or coffee. Coffee sits on the counter and it just splashed probably. While that man was taken to the hospital with minor injuries, this driver leaving behind thousands of dollars in damage. Fort Lauderdale police arriving to find his truck inside the store. The driver crashing through windows, knocking over shelves and damaging the front of his vehicle. He said sorry to you? Yeah, like sorry, sorry for the interruption. We watched as police forced him to undergo a field sobriety test. He was ultimately placed into cuffs and arrested. But it is this manager who says closing his store is not an option. You pretty much have everything under control. Hopefully within the next hour, uh, we'll be able to like open, open back up again. And as we come back out live, that manager has since reopened his business. He says he just could not afford to keep his doors closed with all of the damage and repairs that he will have to make. Here in Fort Lauderdale, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.